The last U.S. forces left Iraq in December 2011. President Obama may now send some back. Islamic militants grab more land today, and the president returned from a weekend in California to consider options. They include sending special forces. We have a series of reports tonight, including a team of correspondents in the region. But we begin with breaking news from David Martin at the Pentagon. David. Good evening. One, one of the options being presented to the president calls for sending teams of special forces back into Iraq. They would not go into the field to fight alongside Iraqi troops, but would train and advise them in an effort to recapture some of the territory lost to insurgents. A small flotilla of ships led by the USS Bush is in the Persian Gulf, ready to carry out strikes designed to break the momentum of Sunni militias surging through northern Iraq. Four other warships are armed with cruise missiles, which have the range to reach targets deep inside Iraq. Over the weekend, the Pentagon sent 275 soldiers and Marines from bases in the Persian Gulf into Baghdad to beef up security at the American embassy. And this morning, the amphibious carrier Mesa Verde, with 550 Marines and Osprey vertical takeoff and landing aircraft on board, sailed into the Gulf in case the State Department orders the embassy evacuated. Sending special forces into Iraq would amount to a limited restart of the training that ended when U.S. troops pulled out two and a half years ago. But trainers can't accomplish much if the Iraqi army is not willing to stand and fight. David Martin, thank you very much.